Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you a little secret here, man. I found the best rebuildable mouth to lung tank I have ever seen since I started vaping. Utterly amazing. If you're interested, stick around. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to introduce you to the Hell Vape Dead Rabbit Mouth to Lung 2 Rebuildable Tank. Now, listen, like I said before, I've never been a Hell Vape fan, but their latest iterations of all these rebuildable tanks are just utterly delicious. I can't get over it. It's that fantastic. And I've been playing with this one for about three weeks now, and I haven't been able to find anything wrong with it. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on there. I, I did actually find not one, but two problems with this gorgeous tank. And stick around, because I'm going to show you how to fix both of them before this video is over. So go back to the original recording. Wow, is that delicious. What are you doing? You watching me vape? You sicko? Go back to the original recording. Come on now. Yes, it's delicious, but... Editor, come on now, cut. There's a predictable problem with this one, but... Nothing that this tank is any different than any other rebuildable tank I have ever used. So I'm going to show you today all the different features of this tank, including the six replaceable airflow pins. Yes, they finally figured out how you can change the airflow and make it perfect for mouth to lung. That's always been the problem with rebuildable tanks is you gotta adjust the airflow. And when you adjust the airflow, it is not a true mouth to lung. When you try to go from very loose restriction to an ultra tight equivalent to a disposable, you can't do it with an airflow ring. They've come up with all kinds of things in the past, but little different things that you insert inside. I've got a dripper, the mongrel was the same way. And when you don't like how it is, you gotta pull your coil out to change it all. Not with a replaceable pin for the airflow restriction. This thing is perfect. So, for your edification, we're gonna take a brand new one, and unbox this thing, and see what this sucker's all about. Ain't nothing to it, but to get into it. Mmm, that beautiful. And look at that gorgeous drip tip in there. I know, if you're like, oh, that's too long. I don't want anything that ridiculous. Don't worry, don't worry. They did you include a little more conventional style drip tip. 510 drip tip, beautiful. Stainless steel. Here's your airflow control, which doubles as juice flow control. Man, is that tight. But let me tell you, once you get it on here, it loosens up with the e-liquid in your tank. And this is so easy to open and close. Gorgeous deck. And this deck, if you can tell, right here and right here are designed so you can take and rest your coil building tool on it for perfect coil placement every single time. The top to this spins off. It's not quarter turn. And the default problem with every single rebuildable tank is if you fill this up to the very top of this so that e-liquid is not only full inside there, but also gets outside here and you put this on, you will flood your tank. 
The simple solution is always leave a little bit of air inside your tank. And then when you screw a tap on, it will no longer flood your tank because the air can compress, the e-liquid cannot. How about we uh, take a look and see what else comes in this package? What? What? They included a whole new build top? No, that is for increased juice capacity. Not only do you change the glass out, but because of the way that this chimney is designed, beautiful conical airflow control to direct and concentrate that vapor to change this. Now you've got increased juice capacity. Also included in your package, one, two, three, four, five, six different pin options for you to adjust the airflow. 0 0.8 millimeters, one millimeter, 1.2 millimeter, 1.5 millimeters, 1.8 millimeters, and two millimeters for the airflow opening to give you the perfect airflow restriction for your mouth to lung needs. And it's clearly marked in a convenient hole for each of your airflow pins. Mmm, does that taste fantastic? What else comes in the box? All your spare O-rings and seals, a little tiny screwdriver, and a beautiful coil. Hellvape, how come you never mark what your coils are made of? Is that nichrome? Is that canthal? Is that stainless steel? Can you please do a little better and mark your coils? What substance is that? What gauge is the wire? How many wraps are there? How many Claptons are fused together? Please, your customers would greatly appreciate it. And you get a magnificent user manual. Let's get this thing built. As I stated earlier, 1.2 millimeters is the, uh, the pin that comes standard in this thing. And we're gonna swap that out. We're gonna put the tightest pin that they have, which is 0 0.8 millimeters into this deck and see how that compares to your average disposable. Hey, Hellvape, you gave Phillips head screws for your coil, but to change the pin, you need a flathead screwdriver. You should have used one of the try tools instead of a little tiny Phillips screwdriver with your kit. So folks, you're gonna to need to have your standard screwdriver to change the pins out. But I mean, you should have that kind of stuff by now. Let's get our Phillips head screwdriver out, loosen these pins up, get the coil that's in the baggie. You're going to need a 2.5 millimeter rod out of your coiling tool in order to install this. Or you can use the little screwdriver that they gave you. Make sure the screws are high enough so that the coil leads fit underneath them. Take your first one, set the screwdriver down in the slots, give a little bend. Grab your snips. Make sure to snip them off flush. You don't want this to short out your deck. Check your lead. Make sure it doesn't stick out and then cut the other one off too. Put your top cap on to make sure that you don't have a short. Line up the pin to remove it. And let's give it a dry burn.
nip it flush with the edge of the tank. Pick it up, tuck it down. Lots of wicking left for you to re-wick this in a week and then another week and then another week. You got a whole month's worth of cotton here. Today I'm going to be juicing this up with Vaptasia's Pink Lemonade. Grab your favorite mod. It's that simple, folks. Now that there's e-liquid in here, man, does this adjust beautifully. Make sure you pick an appropriate wattage to start with. 0.78 was where it read before, so I'm dropping this thing down to 18 watts to start with. 0.78, let's give this thing a try. Mmm, it's a beautiful fully restricted with that 0.8 millimeter airflow pin. You cannot do a restricted direct lung with it. With that 0.8 millimeter pin. It is a beautiful mouth to lung tank. We're gonna bump up that wattage a little bit. 20 watts. Mmm! Such a beautiful, saturated mouth to lung vape. I just cannot understand how they did this. If you are a brand new vapor and you don't know the difference between mouth to lung and direct to lung, this is equivalent to you grabbing a disposable and breathing it in. This has more airflow than this does. Let's take a look and see what happens when you swap out the pins. We're gonna go from 0.8 to one and take a look. Well, the one millimeter pin didn't wanna go in. Let's try the 1.2 that I know fits in there cause it came out of there. Okay, that one fits in. Listen here folks, I've been pulling my hair out trying to figure out what the heck is going on with it. And it wasn't until I finally stopped for a moment, I used calipers and everything else to figure out what the heck was going on. Why wouldn't this pin fall in like all the other ones do? And both of the Hell Vape tanks with the one millimeter pin, both one millimeter pins have the same problem. We got a quality control issue here. I emailed Hell Vape over a week ago. Haven't heard back from them. Trying to figure out what's going to happen if some, you know, this is a problem that's like in all of their stuff. Whoops, they did get back to me. And here's exactly what they said. Dear Alex, first and foremost, I would like to express our sincere gratitude on behalf of Hellvape for bringing this product quality issue to our attention. We understand that the trust and satisfaction of every customer are of paramount importance to us. And thus, your voice is invaluable to us. We have taken note of the issue you've raised and are deeply concerned. Rest assured, we have taken immediate action to escalate this matter to our suppliers and quality control team. We pledge to investigate the root cause of the problem thoroughly and implement the necessary measures to prevent such issues from reoccurring. Our goal is to provide exceptional products and an unparalleled customer experience. We recognize that without your support and trust, none of this would be possible. Therefore, we promise to take all necessary steps to ensure that our product quality and customer service meet and exceed your expectations. We highly value your feedback and look forward to the opportunity to demonstrate our commitment to excellence. Should you have any further questions or require our assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you once again for your understanding and support. Best regards. Hell vape. There you go, man. Let's get back to the review. So we're going to fix this problem right here shortly. But here's the problem. When they were drilling this hole across there, apparently, you know, they drilled too many of them 
and the bit wore down, and now you got a burr that's sticking in there. And yes, you can force it to go inside this tank, but you don't want to do that because you're going to take that insulator ring and you're going to mar it all up. So if you want to use the one millimeter pin, and it's only the one millimeter pin that was affected in, in the products that I had, you need to do a little bit of grinding to get rid of that burr. So let's flip it, fix it, and move on with this review, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, folks, as you can clearly see on here, they uh, used a rose tool and uh, cleaned off the one side, but the other side is nothing but a sloppy mess. And you can barely tell there's a burr right there that we need to get rid of. So go get your old favorite Dremel tool. You can pick one of these up. Um, this particular one came from Harbor Freight. It cost me 10 bucks. Comes with an assortment of stones and sanding discs and everything else in the world. And uh, simple little job. But we're going to need to clean this up right there. like butter. So let's give this thing a try. Mm. Well worth the effort to clean up this pin. The 0.08 is very, very tight. You can't do a restricted direct lung with that. Now, with a one millimeter pin, it's an identical drag to a disposable that is designed for mouth to lung. But the flavor is phenomenal and it's worth it. And despite the fact that Hellvape didn't get back to me, they did get back to us. Look at earlier in the video. And I literally pulled my hair out. And despite the fact that the quality control could use a little bit of an improvement, I still say that this is the best mouth to lung disposable ever made. And that wraps up this review. I hope you guys have a fantastic day ahead of you and I'll catch you on the next video.